morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. What are you? Fine. So, can I have your resume, please? Yes. So, your good name? M. Arvind. So, where are you from? Varangal. Okay. So, can you tell me something about yourself? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to express myself in front of you, ma'am. Uh, basically, I am living in Varangal. I am from Varangal. But staying here at our uh, my profession is B.Tech from in the stream of mechanical engineering uh, from the Swiss College group of institutions. My hobbies are listening to music so uh, I can refresh my mind or come out from stresses. Um, my family consists of five members including me and my sisters. Uh, my short term goal is to nail this interview and place in this company. My long term goal is, goal is to get to get a good position in your company where my skills are really for the company growth. That's it. That's all about me. Thank you. Okay. What are your strengths and weaknesses? One of my greatest strength is my self-motivator and key player. Mm -hmm. uh, my weakness should be there when I'm meeting new people. I can't express my feelings about them. Okay. So do you have done any academic project? Yes, ma'am. In B-Tech, my major project is the synthesis of nanotechnologies. Okay. Can you, take, uh, can you tell me something about your project? Yes ma'am. The aloe vera nanoparticles are placed in a magistrate method which is tested in microscopes and material testings mm -hmm. are done with... Uh, okay. So you have done your um, mechanical, yes, right? You are came from mechanical background. So why you choose IT sector? From IMSET I, I got a lot of time now. So I can't uh, uh, place in CAC department. I got chosen in the department. From that I interested to join IT sector. IT sector. Okay. So I think I have seen in your resume you are perfect in uh, CSS, yes, uh, web technologies, yes, right? Okay. So what is CSS and what are the advantages and disadvantages of CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. It is a design language intended to simplify the process of making of our web pages presented. Uh, the CSS, how HTML elements are to be displayed on screen on media and, or any other media. The CSS uh, describes the visual structure of web pages. Okay. Advantages of CSS is uh, better website speed, time saving, uh, flexible positioning of uh, design elements, uh, better compatibility of devices. Devices. Disadvantages uh, is uh, many CSS version due to confusion. Mm. Due to confusion. Um, uh, second one is uh, cross border issues, limited security. Okay. What is the difference between then HTML and CSS? HTML stands for iPad Test Markup Language. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Uh, with HTML, we can create the web pages and web applications. Mm -hmm. In CSS, which are created HTML, uh, HTML web pages, we are making it more presentable. Mm -hmm. uh, CSS HTML consists of uh, tags with um, surrounding around it itself. Mm -hmm. CSS uh, consists of uh, select classes, surrounding and design elements. Design elements. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you are mentioning selectors. Yes. Okay. Uh, what are the different types of selectors present in CSS? In CSS four types of selectors class one. First mm -hmm. one is universal selector. Universal selector plays the wildcard role of wildcard character. It selects the, all the elements on the web page. Mm -hmm. By using this uh, universal selector, that will affect all the elements according to the style specified in the style block. It is denoted by asterisk symbol. Okay. Coming to second one, the class uh, type selector. It is also called as a type selector. It selects the um, element based on the name of same element. Mm -hmm. um, coming to ID sector, it is denoted, it is declared by using of a hash, sim, hash character followed mm -hmm. by ID attribute. Um, by using this selector, uh, ID, the selector such as, such as the ID that should be matched with the ID element. Um, coming to class selector, it is um, it is denoted by preceding of a dot uh, string one or more characters. Okay. 
So, what is the meaning of cascading? See, cascading style sheet, CSS means. What is the meaning of cascading? Cascading is an algorithm that defines the uh, user agents, combines the properties, the values from different sources. Okay. So, what is the uses of uh, CSS box model? CSS box model. By using your CSS box model, you can create the how how the HTML files elements or elements organized on the screen. Um, the CSS box model is box model will create more effective, very good effects. Margin padding, boxing content. Yes. We can write on web pages. So, what is the difference between physical tags and logical tags? Physical tags are used to mention, tell about the browser how a text are to be included in the in, in, in. Okay. Coming to Can you mention some examples? Bold, bold letter, italic, mm. big view. Okay. Like mm. Coming to logical, uh, logical tags will say that uh, how says that how um, tags are included in the text map. Mm. Example strong. Okay. Uh, List the components of the CSS style. The CSS styles are components are classified into three types of manner. Inline style sheet, mm -hmm. internet style sheet, external style sheet. Mm -hmm. Inline style sheet means we can specify the inside the tag in the body part mm -hmm. That will uh, style will apply, apply on particular line mm -hmm. uh, In external style sheet, the Style, style is mentioned in out of the HTML file mode. Okay. These styles are you styles are reusable now. In internet, the styles are applied in, in our HTML mm -hmm. itself now. Then they are called as internet style sheet now. These cannot be used for other files. Okay. Uh, so what is the main difference between CSS and CSS3? CSS is CSS is capable of for designing the text boxes and objects only. Now. Whereas in CSS3, we can create more presentable more than CSS map. CSS is very slow. CSS3 is very faster than CSS map. Okay. Um, the CSS will, does not allow media queries map. But whereas in CSS3, it allows the media queries map. Okay. So, what are the CSS frameworks? CSS frameworks are classified into five types map. Basically, first one is bootstrap map, second one is skeleton. Third one is uh, Bulma. Okay. Fourth one is uh, Tailwind CSS. Okay. So explain the term. Okay. Responsive web design. Responsive web design is RWD is a web development approach. It steers the dynamic effects on the screen, organize the screen. So you are not having idea on that. Yes. So, what is the difference between padding and margin? Padding and margin difference. Uh, padding which allows uh, auto uh, padding does not allow auto setting of padding. Margin will allow auto setting of margin. Um, padding does not allow uh, negative values. Uh, margin will allow negative values. Okay. How can we add icons onto the web page? It is the simplest way of adding of icons. Uh, from by using of uh, icon libraries like uh, font or some adding the name to the specified class mm -hmm. uh, in the line of HTML element map. Okay. Write all the position states used in CSS. The positions are transferred into five types. First one is flexible, second one absolute, third one static, fourth one sticky, fifth one Okay, is uh, CSS3 is case sensitive language? No ma'am, it is uh, in, in case insensitive language ma'am. Why? Because all CSS syntaxes are, uh, syntaxes are uh, as, as the values range from capital A, capital A to capital Z, small a to small z are equivalent ma'am. Okay. So, can you write the CSS programs for universal and class electors? Yes ma'am.
Why we are using title tag? Because which name of a class selector. Okay. Head. Heading tag. Okay. In head tag, you are representing title tag. Yes, okay. Head. You are writing wrong. You have opened the style tag. Okay. So there itself you are closing also the style tag. So where you are applying the whole style. Uh, even body, uh, head also. Head tag also. Uh, you can close the head tag after the title tag. Here it is closed mostly. Okay. Uh-huh. There, before, before style uh, tag, you need to close the head tag. Uh, so now, uh, after applying the styles, you need to close the style tag, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Now, which tag you need to apply? Body tag. Why you are confusing, sir? Continue. Okay, so for H1 heading, you are applying the styles called font family color and font size. Yes, so mention there H1 dot XD TXD H1. So H1 dot. Mm. Okay, in body part, what you have mentioned it in the class name? Class name. Class name. Mm. Okay, how you can represent a class selector then? It's a class selector. Okay, how you can represent a universal selector? No need of mentioning any selector there. Why? Because 
whatever if you are uh, can we mention like that h1 star h1 uh, write down Okay. Have your seat. <coughs> okay. Do you want to ask me anything? Yes, ma'am. What about my feedback, ma'am? Okay. Actually, uh, you are uh, be perfect in the coding. So where you are applying, and uh, uh, you should have a good knowledge in coding part. Okay, na? Please improve it. Okay. And uh, communication also. You need to improve your communication and be confident if you are saying anything. Okay. okay. If you don't know means say, I don't. Okay. If you know means you can continue, okay. but don't lag it. Okay. Okay. okay? So that is my feedback. Uh, so for further details, our HR will contact. Okay.